Recently, I ran a poll on my Instagram because I wanted to know. If there was anyone who sees me sharing these opportunities and somehow had never applied to a single one, I wanted to know why. So I made a four-part poll of the most common reasons that I've seen through experience. And what I found was that a ridiculous majority of my audience dooms themselves before they even apply. Thanks for checking it out. I could only uh, take 30 seconds of it for a copyright reason. So head over to my YouTube linked in this description and you can swipe up on my IGTV to see the rest of it. But thank you so much. Like the outpouring of support and like good reception of my TED talk has been so, so awesome considering I did it six months ago. I only had three weeks to get my script together, practice and execute the speech on a stage. So it was absolutely a roller coaster. I changed the topic of my speech, I think three to four times. I had to drive up to Pennsylvania the night before and sleep there and then perform it. It was just like so much. Um, but getting the reaction from you guys has been amazing. So thank you. And just what I said in the TED talk, I don't want you guys to think that TED talks are for those people. Like it's totally not true. I found this through uh, Jen Ruiz, my friend, travel friend. She just sent me the link and I applied online and I talked to them on the phone and I was accepted. So you can do that. You watching this, it's just that simple. I have a blog post um, that I will also link somewhere that will show you exactly what I'm talking about, how easy it was for me to find them, um, local TEDx talks online and to apply to them and shoot your shot. So you could do a TED talk. Maybe not this year, but next year and in your lifetime. Once you have a message to share, you can do it. So I would love to see a few of you applying to TEDx Talk. So I look forward to that. Thank you guys so, so much.